All right, so to start off the day, we're looking at multiplying radicals, which is part of uh, 7.3, I think. So, uh, but if we look down here, we can see that if you want to, that's a little off, but you can use exponent rules on this. So maybe you just want to write it like this, but you can end up writing it in radical form as well. But the idea with this is that the, the index there, which is the n of the radical, is the same for both. Okay? Otherwise, they kind of have to be in separate radicals because these would be different, the two, the two powers on that. Uh, just again, this, this is kind of a long way of looking at it. This is the nice, shortcut, pretty way to do it. So, for example, if we had, a, I don't know, 6, and we're going to take a third root of 6 and multiply it by the third root of 5. Well, then we can, if, according to this rule, we can put both of these under the same third root like this and then multiply the 6 and the 5. So, in, in actuality, we get the cube root of 30 on that. All right, so here's an example. We got the 6th root of 13 times the 6th root of 5. So applying this rule, since they're both under the 6th root, we can just do the 6th root of 13 times 5, which would be the 6th yeah, root of 65. Now, technically, we would split this thing up, right, to see if we could factor anything out of this. We'd need 6 duplicates of some number. Right here, right, we can split it up into 13 and 5 and there's not really anything else we can split it up into so I don't see any duplicates of 6 so this right here is our final answer